David Stewart and Annie Lennox. Um, David, I would like to ask you, uh, the name of your band, Eurythmics, mm. sound like Greek to me. Is it Greek? Or? Um, actually, it uh, was invented by a Frenchman called Emile Jacques Dalcroze. And um, it's to do with movement. It's, it's quite complicated to explain what yeah. it is, but uh -huh. roughly it's to do with movement and music. Yeah. And Annie used to be taught it when she was at school. Actually. I think this really? probably is a Greek origin to the name, actually. Uh -huh. it's, uh, <clears throat> it was a term given to a way of teaching music, a new way through movement. And I was taught it at school, and I really thought really? it's a nice name. Is all this serious? I mean, oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah. serious. Uh -huh. yeah. Because I thought it was a sort of combination of Europe and rhythmics. Yeah, it has well, it that, is that yeah. as well. Yeah. You know. <laughs> it's nice. That's nice, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think your music conveys a lot of joy, mm -hmm. uh, Annie. Uh, how do you feel about it? Is that on purpose? Well, it, <laughs> it, it contains all emotions, really. Yeah. And joy is a very important one, especially in music. You know, yeah. Because you want to motivate people. So we don't want to make them feel negative. But on the other hand, there's a, there's a great deal of despair in the songs as well. It's a kind of double thing going mm. on. There's a so soul thing. Does soul contain those two elements? Yeah. I think soul is like a celebration of life, where even through all the struggles and things you go through, there's a passion involved. That's what happened. Like, especially black artists from America came from a very poor background and sang with this kind of joyous thing. It was to overcome all the struggles. And uh, this is a similar feeling in England, you know. Cause, could that be a, a message, actually, that you are uh, conveying to the audience that uh, you can uh, overcome your, your troubles? Well, we don't have a, like, a specific message. I think the most important thing, bit. yeah, maybe, yeah. but the most important thing is to really um, communicate with people, yeah. you know, yeah. just to make them feel this is something real, you know, that's something they can identify with. Eh? Yeah. Uh, you two uh, have said that you are very different from each other, mm -hmm. are you? Yeah. Uh, as, as persons. For instance, Annie, you have said that uh, you can work for hours on one simple line uh, and uh, David said that that's not the same for you, is that right? That's right, I tend to, uh, I tend to write about seven songs at once, yeah. you know, using both feet and both hands. Yeah. And, um, and I'm very uh, messy and I have everything all over, whereas Annie is a lot more, uh -huh. lot more precise and works on one thing and is very yeah. Well, we've got lots of differences, I've got lots of And you said there. that you, you, you write more, perhaps, personal things than da does Dave. It's difficult to say, really, you know. Mm. I think, uh, but when we're in the studio together, there just seems to be a very nice creative understanding between each other. Mm. And he is very positive, you know, he's always plowing through things. Mm. I tend to be a little bit more on the gloomy side. Mm. And I suppose that comes, darker elements maybe, come from me, perhaps, you know. But, for instance, the, mm. the choreography of your uh, show, Who's, who's made that? Oh, that's our, um, Annie's personal assi assistant is a girl called Sandra who's with us tonight. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And she's a choreographer. Yeah. And um, Annie has ideas of her own, but Sandra concentrates on the girls and encourages Annie. Right. But uh, people will see a bit of that later on in the show. Yeah. Do you, you improvise a bit there, or is it every step planned? Or? Well, you have a basic structure, right? Yeah. And then you, every night is different. Yeah. Depends on the crowd, depends on the hall, you know. Yeah. Maybe you have some sound problems. Okay. Maybe it's a really good sound, yeah. you really enjoy it. You know, yeah. uh, you, know uh, you have said sometime that you, you sh one shouldn't be too respectful about the technical aspect of music. Mm. And therefore, you bought an old house, right, together? Well, a church, actually, actually, it's part a church. of a church. Mm. We, uh -huh. We've got a studio in part of a church. Yeah. Uh, we lease it, we haven't really bought it. Uh -huh. It's uh -huh. just a premise, it's just a place, you know, yeah. to put our equipment in. But you, you, you wanted to come away from uh, perfection in a way, is that right? We wanted to get away from the industry, you yeah. know, where it's like a factory line where the next group goes in the studio and, yeah. and then the next group goes after and it's just like a sausage factory. Mm -hmm. we, we have it in our church. Anyway, in our church, you know, we can do all sorts of things, run around naked if we want to, or <laughs> yes. paint our bodies and bounce off the walls. Yeah. I've never done that. No. I often do. So far. No. <laughs> but uh, you have toured around the whole world almost now, Australia, and you're going to Japan yeah. later, and oh, Oslo, yeah. Norway? Tomorrow. That's right, yeah. yeah. No, the next day, sorry. Yeah. And then you said that after this uh, traveling business, you will sort of stop and think. Um, yeah, we have to. We had so many offers to do things, uh, and we kept saying, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, we'll make that film, and we'll do... And yeah. in the end, we thought, hang on, we've, we haven't got time to sort of eat our breakfast, so... All right. uh, we sort of stopped all that and we're going to eat our breakfast for a couple of months. Okay. I wish you a good rest and good luck. All right. Thanks very Thanks much. Well. Thank you. Okay.